This is Shannon's 1961 Comet that we've never talked about on in any of the other videos before. This is her only car. It's her project car as well as her daily driver. She drives it to work every day. And she's had it for, what, like two years? Yeah, I think two years. So it's a pretty cool car. Today we are going to change the thermostat on it. We just went and got a new thermostat from Chris at Bumper to Bumper. He really likes watching this channel, which is awesome. Rick and Chris and Peter at Bumper to Bumper are great people. They sell us all the parts to keep our junk cars on the road. So the last few months or so, Shannon has been working on rust repair and body work on the car. Both these corners down here were rusty, so new pieces were, were welded in. The old rust was cut out, new pieces were welded in. In the meantime, she shaved the door handles and relocated the door lock from down here up to here partially to fill in this like little recess where the door handle used to be and she's also made this like to open and close the door now which is cool hi doris uh the inside of the doors are all painted uh she's sewing up some new tuck and roll pearl white panels all new weather stripping all new window fuzzies so kind of doing the full restoration on it. One panel at a time though, because like we talked about earlier, this is her only car. So she still has to drive it to and from work. Under the hood is a completely stock 170 inline six. One of the first upgrades that we did on the car was upgraded to a dual reservoir master cylinder with a power booster. The very first day Shannon bought this car, like we had just picked it up from the guy's house. It had been sitting for 16 years and we jumped in and started driving and she lost all the brakes at the very first hill. It was terrifying for Along her. Along with rebuilding the brakes, Shannon completely rebuilt the entire rear end with all new bearings and seals. As well, we raised the drive shaft tunnel two inches in the car to accommodate the lowered ride height. And the floor pan on this side has been replaced. Shannon made one from scratch. I welded it in and we've got kill mat down on the floors once everything is all painted and detailed in here then she's got brand new carpet from acc that's going to go in and we'll finish up the upholstery but in the meantime let's do the thermostat so the car i believe currently has a 180 thermostat in it right now but the temperature gauge always sits right there and the heater blows like lukewarm air so we're going to take it out and replace it with this 195 degree thermostat it goes right in there hey there's the old one oh we lost the bolt Yeah, we're gonna swap that one out with this one. So Shannon just noticed that it is open, even though it's not in the car anymore. So I wonder if that's why it was so cold and shitty all the time. It's because it was open. I guess we'll, it's still a little bit warm right now because we just drove the car in. But maybe when we're done, it should be cooled down and that should close like this one. See how that one's closed? You can't see through it. And this one you can. Shannon had the idea of putting it under cold water to see if it closes. Get it right on that part. Yeah, it closed, I think. Oh no, that's your hand in the way. Yeah, I think this thermostat is just not working properly. Oh well, 195 will be better. It's winter time. So we're just putting it back together now. Um, just a note on thermostats, this little button guy here, that is the part that tells or like makes it open and close. So always make sure that goes on the engine side, on the hot water side. If you put it in backwards, it does not work. Shannon just put a little bit, well, quite a bit of RTV on there. Now she's putting the gasket down. I know you don't need RTV and a gasket at the same time, but it doesn't hurt to have both. Also, these old bolts that we took out 
were not in the nicest shape. So we're gonna put brand new ones in with anti-seize. People that use anti-seize are good people. People that don't use anti-seize are bad people. Always use anti-seize. It is the best. So with the block surface cleaned, Shannon is now going to put a new assembly together. Look at those finger skills. Help if I could find a hole. There we go. I'm not going to make any jokes. Okay. That's my job. So yeah, now we just put it all back together in the reverse order. Okay, it's all buttoned up back together. All that's left to do now is just take it for a drive. While we're just getting ready to leave here, I just wanna point out that this still hasn't closed. It's like, it's cold now. This thing's garbage. So we've only been driving for like two blocks and it's already higher than it's ever been. <laughs> I think the heater works now. It's nice and warm, uh, which will probably conclude our video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And notice Shannon's hoodie. Those are not available on the website, but the t-shirt version is, plus many other shirts. So if you want to stop at the website and get a shirt, it's cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.